Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with our four tomato plants. They have gotten quite large. Um, it's time that we don't have to cover them so much for the frost. And so we're going to get them pruned into a single stem and get them going up the trellises. So we have the parts to our easy trellis here. Uh, we're going to start some construction. I have some short poles and some long poles. And what I'm going to do is put my short poles in first. Remember we had early in the season put our little uh, base pieces in. These are our caps. You want to save your caps for the fall when you want to kind of put your garden to bed. Okay, there's our short pipes. The next piece we need is our couplers. It's this little piece here. This connects the big piece and the little piece together. That's a little one. So these are great because you can construct these without any tools. You can have the guy at the lumberyard actually cut your poles for you and on the website we will have the instructions on how long to cut and how many pieces of what you need to get. So you can go to the website and get the rest of the information. Okay, got that together and then we put the top on. This is uh, two long pieces, two short pieces, and this special elbow that's got an extra hole out the bottom. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, good aim I got. Okay, hey, looky there. Give everything a good shove. Make sure it's all nice and tight. There's going to be a lot of weight on this thing throughout the season. And these tomato plants, I'm guessing, are going to end up around 15 to 17 feet long when we get done with them. We're going to do a single stem system for growing them up, but we do have a secret on how to keep them within the framework so don't think that we have to have a 17 foot trellis we can do it just fine with a five okay the next piece of equipment we need is these are our uh, tomato strings this is a what's called a tomato clip and you can get these on the internet uh, I have seen four different kinds of these on the internet this is the black one they come in clear and I've used the clear ones. They don't have any UV in them and they tend to get brittle after one season. Uh, they come in terracotta. You can get the red ones. They seem pretty solid. I like those. And then there's a brown one that is a compostable clip. So in the industry when we're tying up all our tomatoes at the end of the season you want to you know take the tomato plants out. It takes a lot of labor to take the clips off so what they do is use the compostable clips and then they can just toss it in the compost with the tomato plants. Um, I like to reuse my clips year, year after year. I actually have a few clips in here. These clips here, which I bought 27 years ago, and these things are still troopers. They're a little bit thicker on the side. Uh, I can't find these anymore, so I just have my little stash that's left, and that's all there is of those. But these other black clips, they seem to do the trick. And what we'll do is on the top, we'll use two of the black ones um, just to give us extra strength. Okay, so let's take a look at these tomato plants. Um, the first thing I see on this plant, we'll take a look at this one first, is that it has multiple stems coming out all over the place. And we're only wanting one stem. Um, what these side stems are, these are called suckers, and they just come out where the branches are. Like here's a little one right here that might be really easy to see. 
So if you look at the joint where the leaf is at, then you see the little sucker come out. This is actually another top, but we don't want extra tops. We just want one top. So I'm going to go through and take off all the extra tops that I see on this plant. Sometimes a little, it's a little easier to do this if you catch them when they're a little smaller, but we don't have any problem today. The theory behind this type of pruning system is that you have one set of roots, you have one stem, and that one set of roots is able to feed that one stem and make lots of extra tomatoes. Whereas if you're all bushy, you have one set of roots and you have maybe 30 tops and that one set of roots has to feed all 30 tops. So most of the commercial growers will grow in this method. The other reason I like this method is because you can get your tomatoes up out of the dirt and they're not sitting there rotting because you can't see them and the bugs aren't crawling in them. Okay, now to put this clip on, what you're going to do is there's, there's these little teeth here in the back and you're going to lay your string right through the back of the, the joint here. You're going to push that shut a little bit and those little teeth are going to grab that string. So you have control of the string. I, I can't pull it out. It's, it's right there. And you're going to take this clip, going to go down and snap it around the base of the plant. I don't know if you can see that. My little cherry tomato is in the way. Then I'm going to take this string and I'm going to run up the back side of the plant. I don't know if you noticed, but when the plant fruits, here's the tomato fruit, they come off one side of the plant. This one, I'll call this the front. And then if you look at the next set, it comes off the front as well. So if I'm running my string up what we'll call the back side of the plant, see here I got my string up the back side, then the string is not anywhere near the fruit and we're not getting uh, damage and getting the fruit knocked off by the string. So I want to put a clip on the tomato plant about every foot. Now a typical tomato plant will produce a leaf and a leaf and then a set of fruit. And then they'll produce another leaf and another leaf and a set of fruit. And it usually will continue this pattern all the way up. So I want to put my clip where the tomato plant has made a leaf and a leaf. And that keeps my clips and my string away from the fruit because sometimes you can knock the fruit off if you have the clip too close or the string too close. And sometimes that makes me really sad when I see the fruit hit the ground. Okay, so I think I can put two clips on this one today. Yep, here's my leaf leaf. So there again, I put the string right in the back of the teeth, grab it, snap it around the plant. Now, we are going to take the string, and we're going to go up and put it around the trellis top. And I just hold the string together, and I'm going to do the exact same thing with the clip. I'm going to put both pieces of the string clear into the joint of the clip right into the back and then I'm going to snap it shut and it's, that will hold uh, for safety because I don't like my tomato plants to fall I'm actually going to put a second one on so get that clip right into the back of the joint there just snap it shut and there it is the first one tied up I have a little extra tail here which I can either leave dangling because we will use um, the extra length. I'm just going to roll this up. I like my garden to look nice and neat. Oh, I rolled it tight. There we go. And I'm going to put a clip on this. I use these clips for everything all around. And that'll just stay up there. Alrighty, there we go. All four of our big tomatoes are trellised. Nice and sturdy. If it's going to get cold, you can throw your blankets over the whole outfit. But this will keep your tomatoes up off the soil and your garden will look very professional. <laughs>